Okay, hi there. Welcome to a revision blast looking at a really topical issue in market structures, price discrimination in the UK motor insurance market. Now, this is a really interesting issue and one that might well be a focus of an exam question. In 2021, the UK's Financial Conduct Authority, the FCA, implemented a package of so-called remedies to try to improve competition and protect home and motor insurance customers from something called loyalty penalties. Now, this basically is a new rule so that if you, if you go for a renewal quote for your car insurance, for example, you're not more expensive than they would be for new customers. In 2018, according to the FCA, 6 million loyal policyholders, motor insurance, motor insurance, would have saved in total over £1 billion had they paid the average price for the actual insurance risk. Now, many motor insurance firms have been increasing prices for existing customers each year at renewal, a practice known as price walking. And this means that customers have to spend time and inconvenience shopping around and switching every year to avoid paying those higher prices. The FCA intervened because they saw a market failure. These are the largest car insurance companies in the UK by market share in 2022. Admiral with 14%, followed by Directline and Aviva, but then a whole host of other insurance companies. OK, here's a 60 second cal cal uh, countdown. Uh, calculation question, can you please calculate the three firm and five firm concentration ratios for the UK motor insurance industry? So with the three firm ratio, we take the market share of the leading three firms in the market. Five firm, we just add two new firms to it. And you should find that it's 35.3% for C3, Admiral, Direct Line, Aviva. And then we add in Hastings and AXA, which takes it to 48.4. So not quite an oligopoly, but the leading five insurance companies take about half the market. Can you, again, have a, have a go at this one? Can you give me two factors that might explain why some people pay more for their motor insurance? than other people. Okay, so lots of reasons why people pay different prices. Of course, it's a market where when you ask for a quote, you're going to get a very different price depending on your circumstances. So one factor you might have talked about is age and possibly gender. Younger drivers, under the age of 25, and male drivers tend, on average, to have higher premiums than older and female drivers. And partly it's because, statistically speaking, they are more likely to be involved in a road accident. And, of course, insurance companies are pricing their insurance premiums the price is essentially on the risk pooling. They pool the risk for different groups when setting prices. Another example would be the type of vehicle. Typically, the make and model of the car, the, ex the price of the car can affect the cost of insurance. So powerful cars, expensive cars lead to higher premiums. Because, of course, if there's an accident or loss of vehicle, the, uh, the expense, the payout is higher. Insurance companies, of course, need to have reserves to be able to pay out 
uh, on claims. Uh, premiums are also often linked to the location of the driver seeking an insurance quote. If you're living in an urban area with a high rate of car theft, for example, you pay a higher insurance. You might have also talked about uh, people's willingness to pay. So typically risk-averse consumers are probably more likely and willing to pay higher prices for car insurance because they want to avoid the risks. Now, crucially, our question here is about why it is that existing consumers were being charged higher prices for their insurance, but they were already loyal customers. Sure, that's slightly counterintuitive. Can you maybe give me two reasons why that was the case? Try to use some economic concepts in your answer. Have a go. So this was the issue that the FCA were investigating. They were felt it was unfair, it was inequitable for existing customers to pay more for their insurance than uh, with the same risk profile as somebody who's a new customer. Partly it's to do, mustn't it, to do with price elasticity of demand. So the argument is that existing customers may not be as price sensitive. They've locked themselves into an insurance company and insurers may feel they can charge them a higher price. Now we call this third degree price discrimination, charging different people different prices for the same products. And of course, the idea is you make higher profits, charging existing customers. There's no increase in risk, charge them more and you make more money. And of course, as price walking happens when an insurer gradually increases the price of a policy each year, even if the risk profile is unchanged, same car, same location, same driving habits and so on, they're extracting consumer surplus because of inertia a default bias in people's behaviour. People are unwilling to change. They don't like the time and inconvenience of shopping around. Now, when it comes to drawing a diagram, this is third degree price discrimination. And uh, you can either use what this diagram or a slightly more complex one, which I'll show in a second. We do have a separate video on third degree price discrimination. So if you want me to walk you through this diagram step by step, just search for that on the YouTube channel on our playlist. Here we have two markets on the left hand side. Renewals, probably low price elasticity demand for insurance, whereas new buyers of insurance, perhaps a little bit more price sensitive. And if the same cost of supply to each group, the group on the left face a higher price, profit maximisation price is higher, the group on the right to get charged a lower price, even though they're buying the same product. You can make this diagram more complex. Some people uh, are taught this one. If you add those two demand curves together, average revenue and margin revenue together, you get that little quink, uh, quirky <laughs> orange diagram there with average revenue, margin revenue. Assume the costs are, assume diminishing returns. The profit maximizing output is Q1 at a price of P1, giving a profit of green area. But if you look at those two orange areas to the left of that diagram, they add up to more than the green area. So charging a different consumer a different price for the same product insurance can increase the profitability for the insurance companies. There we go. That was a quick look at price discrimination in motor insurance and an investigation by the Financial Conduct Authority. Thanks for joining in. Take care. Stay safe. See you soon.